So you want to print an object to FlashForge Adventure C 3D printer. And this is the object you want to print over here in SketchUp Free. All you do is you go down here and you say download STL file. That's an STL file that can be loaded into the application that is used to print to a FlashForge printer. Now the application, it can be downloaded for free. Um, you want to go and look for Flash Print for the download for this. And you uh, run the installer. And then once you have the Flash Print installed, you want to load up the part that you saved. So let's go here and load file. We're going to go over to the downloads directory. And I believe the part that I just downloaded was this one. And maybe I can grab the frame and the other gear as well. And now you can see that uh, all of these are in here. Now I might have some errors in here, but I think it can repair models. And so those are the three objects there. You can probably arrange them in different orders, but suppose we wanted to print them as is. Can we actually do like a arrangement? There's probably some arrangement tools over here that you can use to move them around. But I was thinking about, you know, what about an auto arrange? You can also test to see if these gears kind of, um, see I'm using my right click on my mouse here. You can see if these gears fit together well, you can see that here, but you don't want to print them that way, obviously. Next thing you want to do is hit slice and make sure you select your printer from the three series. And it's going to use probably a standard nozzle of 0.4. And then you hit uh, slice and it's going to slice it into different layers. You can probably preview that slice like this. And then, and then also run the tip along the part so you can see what order it's going to do it in. It's showing you what the internal structure looks like as well. These are not different color inks, but just different paths that it takes, like the shell and the inner part. You can also have it avoid printing a um, raft, because most of the time you don't need a raft for something like that. You'll have to look through the settings about how to do that, but this is basically uh, the... Uh, simplest way of getting the print started. This is probably sending to printer if you have it networked directly to a computer. But if you don't, if you have a USB drive or SD drive, uh, SD card instead, you can hit download and it will download this usually as a G code file like this right here. It looks like the uh, flash print is going to maybe export it as a GX file, which might be easier to read by the flash forward adventure. 3C printer. So once you save that to a USB drive or SD drive, you put it in the device, then load it up and hit the print button. Usually it's uh, that easy. Now I'm, I, I'm more familiar with other printers, but I'm sure that on this main menu right here, you're gonna see the parts that looks like a USB drive right there. You'll see the part file up in here and then you hit print, making sure you have enough printer ink to complete the print. I right, hope this, this helps get you started in printing to a Flash Forward Adventure 3 printer. See you next time.